Hello, my lovely, 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 lovely people. Okay. We're gonna jump into episode 36 of Black. I legit, I did my other videos like hours ago, and even though I just posted them, so I really don't remember where I left off on Blake. Oh, yes, I do. Yes, I do. I remember exactly where we left off. So I'm sorry about what my mother did. She's so mean, all that she wants is to ruin people's lives. It's okay, and I think that my father deserves it. He knew he had a daughter and he didn't do anything. What's happening to him right now, it's called karma. This is true, honestly, Blake, didn't you, uh, you didn't miss much. He's a terrible father, he was never there for me. Mm -hmm. I know. Um... The good thing is that we're not forced to hide the truth anymore. Now I'm not forced to lie about you um, anymore to everyone. Everyone can know you're my sister. Ouch, booby. Stuff that hurts. You're right. My future sister, Alaha, is my best friend. Aren't I lucky? Girl, Rivy. Slow down, baby. We're not married just yet. We're not married yet. You will put a ring on on it sooner or later you know that mm. what's going on Blake look at Jane mm -hmm. get the fuck he told me that no one wants to talk to him poor guy not so long ago I was in his place I was the word out that no one wanted to talk to it's not fair. No one deserves to be treated this way. We can invite him to join us. Oh, really? Since when don't you care about your popularity? Since the weirdo is my sister. <laughs> I guess that makes me a weirdo, too. I'm kidding. I'm awesome. I'll always be popular. Okay, then let's talk to him. Hi, Jane, do you mind if we sit here with you? You want to sit with me? Yeah, of course. I don't mind. I will say Scarlet, go sit next to him. Dang, let me introduce you to my friends. Jen and Tom. Jen and Tonic, y'all. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jen. Oh, hi, Jane. Actually, I'm not her friend. I'm her brother. It's still a little confusing time. So, yes, he's my annoying brother. <laughs> I have a complicated family. What about you? I'm new here. I just moved with my mother. I just moved in with my mother. Where do you come from? Nebraska? Can you stop doing it, boy? Um, You're going to like it here, you'll see. Actually, I don't go out a lot. Well, you definitely need to go out with us someday. You must come to one of my parties. My house is always the place to be. He's right. What do you think I chose him? I'd love to come. What about tomorrow night? I'm throwing a party, like, every Saturday. Yeah, why not? It's settled. I it's settled. Me meanwhile... Oh shit, how could this happen? My reputation is ruined. Gabe, wait, please, Gabe, calm down. Calm down? How the hell could I calm down? Now everyone knows that I had a baby out of wedlock. <laughs> you know we're in 2016, right? <laughs> People don't care about that anymore. Not when you're a respect... Not when you're, uh, you're a respected member of the Republican Party. Um, you know my ambitions. Uh, you know that I want to become a senator. And not everything is ruined, Jay. They'll lose faith in me, and you know that. Okay, maybe you missed your chance of being a senator, but... You just found your daughter. Shouldn't you be happy? Happy? Are you kidding me right now? Look, you're, best, you're my best friend, so... Oh, for so many years. And if you weren't, uh, if you were that cold-hearted man you pretend to be right now, I think that uh, I would have noticed it for a little 
for a while now. I think so. She's your daughter, and for, and for God's sakes, and look what they did to her. Plus, she already knows who you are, and she didn't say a word. Are you really so insensitive? Of course not. Don't you see? It's all my fault. I'm the man who abandoned her. The man who let them abuse her. And I'm going to live with that for the rest of my life. But not everyone knows it too. Everyone knows what horrible father I am. And it's going to ruin my career. Maybe that's a sign. Maybe you should put your career on hold. And become a good father. For your son. But also for your daughter. White stupid fucking donkey. <laughs> yeah right genius. And what am I supposed to do? Knock at her door and say, Hi, it's me. Let's be a family. You're overreacted. Unless, unless what? Unless I tell everyone that I didn't know that she existed. If she accepts to help me, or if she accepts to help me, it could change everything. What? Think of it. It could work. Are you seriously going to ask her to lie for you? This is the only solution. I have to see her. <laughs> Seriously, you're killing me, Gabriel. Don't Gabriel me. I know exactly... The bitch. Not ex... Ackley. I know exactly what I'm doing. Okay. Later that day. Um, do you call Joanne? Yeah, I'm going to see her after school. Why don't you ask her to come to Tom's party while you, uh, while you're with her? I'll ask her. And thanks for being nice to Jean. Stop. No problem. He seems nice. Ow, what the fuck? Yeah, he is. You know, you're the first person who gave me a chance here. If it wasn't for you, I'd probably still be the weird off. I'm glad y'all know it. I'm glad I know you. You're my best friend. Uh, and more than that, I'm your future sister-in-law. <laughs> After school. So, see you tomorrow? What's going on? This is the first time someone invites me to a party. Is it a trap or something? A trap? What are you talking about? We just want to get to know you better. Yeah, but you're all popular and I'm just, I'm no one. No one ever sees me. No one ever wants to talk to me. Why would you want, uh, why would you want to know me? I don't care about popularity. And so do my friends. You're a human being just like us. Don't let anyone make you feel small, Jane. You're so nice. Thank you for everything. You're welcome. Look at what we have here. Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> not, not Beauty and the motherfucking Beast. I can't see which one of them is Beauty, though. Do you think you're funny? Actually, yeah. Totally. Do you know what happened to the last mean girls at the school? Let me guess. They were beautiful, rich, and they always had what they wanted. Just like us? Yeah, exactly. One of them is now dead while the other one's in a mental hospital. So you better be careful because karma's were uh, Get the fuck out of my fucking mouth. Karma's a real thing. Yep. That's true, bitch. Hey, Joanne, are you free right now? Not right now. I'll be home in about an hour. Okay, text me when you're free. I'll come. Okay, see you later. See you later. I thought Liam didn't want her over in that era. <sighs> I wonder what she does now that she doesn't go to school anymore. I stay home and I did my homework. And a little later, Joanne texted me. I was about to meet her when someone knocked at the door. Your fucking father. I know it. Hello, Blake. What, what are you doing here? My father was standing in front of me. I couldn't believe it. Actually, I came here to talk to you. I'm listening. 
I don't really know where to start. This is embarrassing. Look, I know that my mother trapped you. I know you never wanted me, and I'm fine with it. I'm not like my mother. I don't want to bother you. I uh, lived 17 years without you. I can go on like this. Yeah. I'm sorry, Blake. I was 16, and my girlfriend was pregnant. I couldn't take care of you. I know. I already told you. I'm fine. This conversation was really strange. He came here, but he didn't seem to have a lot to say. You want something, right? You didn't come here to apologize, am I right? Of course I'm here to apologize, bitch. But indeed, I also came to ask you something. What is it? Look, I know that you you have absolutely no reason to uh help me. Trust me, I know that. <laughs> but this news is going to ruin my life. Your mother is going to ruin my career. I want to get involved with politics, and it's, it's not going to happen if everyone um, knows that I abandon you. So the only way for me to save my career is to lie, which means I have to uh, contradict your mother and say that I never knew about you. And of course, I can't do that if I'm if you're not saying the same thing on your own. <laughs> All you need to do is an interview. I don't. Want, I don't want to give interviews. I want a normal life. Uh, the press is harassing me. I don't want to talk to them. Please. Um, one single interview that could save my entire career. Then I'll promise. Well, then I'll leave you alone. I promise. I can't believe it. How does he have the nerve, right, to come here and ask such a thing? Doesn't he care about me? He's so selfish. He is. But on the other hand, maybe my mother made him that way. After what she did to him, she trapped him. She tried to ruin his life. And now she's doing it again. Does he deserve it? I don't know. Should I help him? You know, I myself personally don't want to give him this fucking interview. Um, but I'll help this snaking ass. Fine, I wanna help you. Really? My mother is evil and I don't want her to ruin another life. And you helped me when I needed it the most. So, I'd say after this, we're even. Thank you so much. Yep. And that's it. That's all, bitch. I'll call you soon. Don't know. Bye. Bye. Get the fuck out of my house, bitch. I don't. Mm -mm. He's definitely not the kind of father I hope for. He will never love me. Damn it, I forgot Joanne. I'm sorry I had a little setback. Are you still home? Nope, you didn't show up, so I changed my plans. Sorry, Joanne, but let me explain. Look, I don't have much time right now. I'll call you later, bye. I'm such a bad friend. Is that Mr. Miller outside? Yeah, he came to talk to me. What do you want? He wants me to save his career, so he's going to uh, so he's going to lie about what happened. He wants me to do the same. What did he, What did you say? I won't stop him. I can't let my mother ruin his life, and I'm going to give an interview with him. Are you sure that that's what you want? Yeah, I'm sure. What bitch, who you ringing, girl? Hey, babe. Uh. Hey, what are you doing right now? I was supposed to go see Joanne, but I had a little setback, so apparently now she's busy and can't see me. Great, you don't need to see her. This is not funny. I'm not joking, you know I don't like when you're uh, when you're hanging out with her. Yeah, then I guess you're happy because I never see her anymore. Is it my fault? I told you that I could see her if you, uh, if you wanted to. Bitch, uh, yeah, I know, uh, this is my fault. Thanks for the reminder, Liam. Oh, crap. Sorry, I didn't want to upset you. 
Just can't stand her anymore. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, do you want to come to my place instead? We could spend the night together, like, just like old times. You know I love that, but I have to ask Agatha before. Then ask her and call me when I'll come get you. Fine, I'll just call you in a few minutes. God, I hate asking permission. You and me both, bitch. Um, Agatha. I'm here. What's going on? I was wondering if I could sleep at Liam's place tonight. Oh. What's the problem? It's not like it's the first time. I used to live with him. Yeah, I know that. But that was only because your mother didn't take care of you. Actually, I think you're too young to sleep at your boyfriend's house. What? She must be kidding me right now. Bitch, be rude. Cause she, I'm not too young. Yes, you are. End of conversation. What are you afraid of? That I'm that I lose my virginity? Well, breaking news. It's already happened. Like, please. So you don't have to worry. As I can't let him touch me, nothing's going to happen tonight. As every night. I'll see you tomorrow. Bitch. She got the game fucked up. Bitch, you're not about to just come up in here and just tell me what I can't and can and can't do, girl. <laughs> she didn't want me to come see you tonight. Can you believe it? I told you she doesn't like me. Yeah, I don't care if she likes you or not. <laughs> but I kind of feel guilty. I left without her permission. She's nice to me and all, but she can't replace my mother, you know? I know. But she really seems to care about you. You should give her a chance. Yeah, maybe I overreacted a little. Well, fuck that. Turned up on that bitch. <laughs> Later that night. It's good to be here. Well, I hate when they put that fucking shade over the fucking screen. Okay, can you what to say? You know, something weird happened today. What happened? My father came to see me. Why? At first he apologized, but then he asked me to help him. He wants me to contradict my mother, so he asked me to give an interview with him. I wish I was there to see his face when you said no. Actually, I said yes. You did. What? He doesn't deserve it. It's going to ruin his career. This is unbelievable. My mother trapped him. He never wanted me. And his girlfriend was pregnant, too. What would you have done in the in his shoes? You, <laughs> you would have done the same, Liam. The exact same. And you know it. So what are you going to do? I'll say that he never knew about me until now. Shit. My mother is always trying to ruin people's lives and I'm sick of it. Um, this is my decision. Please respect it, Liam. Fine. Do it. I won't stop you. Even if I don't think it's a good idea. Maybe he's not that bad. Maybe he's not. I don't know what the fuck I should say. He did some mistakes, but who doesn't? Some mistakes are more serious than others. I know, but... It was 17 years ago, and I'm fine without him. I don't feel any hatred towards him. I have you and my friends. I even have a brother now. That's all that matters, trust me. Now, please, I want to go to bed. Snuggle up in your arms and never leave them. Did you just run to the bed, girl? The next day, time is having a party tonight. Will you be there? Sorry, not uh, sorry, but not tonight. I can't. Mm -hmm. Come on, it's no big deal. Time's throwing parties almost every day. I now want to spend some time with you. Me too, but you know I can't uh do what I want. Vince wants me to work tonight. I can't come with you. Now let me drive you home. I know, but it's not easy. She, we had a huge fight yesterday. She left without permission. When it comes to her boyfriend, I have no authority. I don't know what to do. Honey, it's normal. You just found each other. You need um some time to get along. And she lived with him. It must be hard for her. I know, but you haven't seen him. He's the kind of man that makes you want to cross the street. He doesn't go to school anymore. I'm sure he's engaged. And illegal activities, it's written in his face. I'm sure you're overreacting right now. <sighs> bitch, I'm feeling like this bitch racist, y'all. Because you see she a, a goddamn white woman. And he fucking black or Mexican or whatever the fuck his ugly ass is. But he ain't fucking white. I'm feeling like she racist. 
I'm feeling like I don't like Aggie ass now, my child. Look, I'll try to visit you next weekend, okay? Yeah, that's a great idea. I have, uh, I have to go. I'll call you later. Love you. Love you too. Mm, that hurts. And then an awkward silence filled the room. Um, apologize since you felt bad. Look, I'm sorry about last night. I shouldn't have left like that. But Liam is my boyfriend, and if you want me to be happy, please don't stop me from seeing him. I know. I made a mistake. I'm sorry. The fact is, I was always outside. It doesn't mean that I did any, uh, <laughs> that I did and did bad things. I'm not making a mess of my life. I'm not like my mother. I know where my priorities lie. I'm glad to hear that. So, my brother is having a party tonight. Can I go? Uh, yes, you can, but be careful. Thank you, and I will... Oh, thank you. Don't worry. No way. Um, can I have some money to go shopping? What? Yes, no problem. Uh, can I come with you? I'd love to, but you don't have to say yes. Yeah, why not? Bitch, we had a bridal shop, bitch. What do you think? You look beautiful. Oh, I like that. That's cute. Yeah. I don't know which one to choose. Let's buy them all. That's a great idea. I actually enjoy spending this moment with Agatha. It was pretty cool. Now it's time to get dressed. I want to wear one of the new outfits. Bitch, we wearing a short skirt. That color skirt, baby. Hey, turn up party. Yes, it's perfect. I want to propose a toast to Kate. <laughs> Not to Kate plus a bitch. May life um can be hard. What may life can be hard for okay, yeah, whatever. Life can be hard for her now that she's in jail and she's not gonna have a cent of John's fortune. She's talking about my evil mother. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh no, bitch. Mm -mm. You two get out of my house now. How dare you come here? We thought it was a free. Country, bitch. Hey, turn up. Yes, it is, and I'm going to beat the crap out of you if you don't get out of here now. You're nothing but a jerk. Without us, your party suck. You made a big mistake. Say goodbye to your popularity. So, you can stay here if you want, but no drama in my house. Do you hear me? Yeah, you can count on us. Good. I can't believe they have the nerve to come here after what they did to Blake. It's okay, you made them leave. Do you want to dance? Why not? What the fuck is he wearing? I tried to call Joanne, but uh, she didn't answer. I'm worried about her. She never sees me. Well, I never see her anymore. Whatever. Maybe she just needs some space. Maybe you're right. I need a tan, bitch. And I knew Liam asked was gonna come. Hey, Blake. You came. I'm so happy to see you. Yeah, you look busy. Of course, not a way you care. This is Jean, our new friend. Jean, this is my boyfriend, Liam. Nice to meet you. Yeah. I need a drink. <laughs> So he's your boyfriend? Yeah, and we're we're very happy together. Oh, it's good to know. Now if you don't mind, I'm going to go I'm going to see him. 
of course, no problem. I must be dreaming right now. Bitch, you got me fucked up. Stay calm. Um, and can I know what you're doing right now? Mm-hmm. I'm making new friends, just like you. Are you serious? Yes, I am. You know what? Forget it. I'm out of here. Bitch. So, where were we? Hey. I can't believe him. <sighs> he about to get kidnapped again or some shit. Where are you going? Oh, don't you goddamn worry about it. I'm going home. Let me drive you. No thanks. Plus you better you have better things to do. Look, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have done that. But you shouldn't have get then to this guy either. Come on, Gene. Have you looked at him? Are you seriously jealous of him? <laughs> Let me clear something. I don't give a shit what he looks like. He's still a man, and I don't want you to dance with another guy. Especially when I'm not around. <laughs> Do you see Gene dancing with other men that, um, than time? No. Would you like it if I danced with another girl? When you were not there? Nah. Yeah. You wouldn't like it. Even if she was ugly. <laughs> oh, the bitch, you ugly. I understand. I'm sorry. It's just that Gene is all alone at school, just like I used to be, and I wanted to be nice to him. That's why we invited him tonight, because he has no friends. And somehow it saddens me, because no one deserves to be treated like that. I understand that. That's why I love you, because you're not, you're always nice to everyone. And I don't want to change that. You can talk to whoever you want, but there should be some lines you shouldn't cross. Like dancing with him. And I'm sorry it won't happen again. Bitch, please. But don't you dare talk to me like those stupid girls again. What? I won't. Mm, I told you I suck at being a boyfriend. Mm, so, what's poppin'? Do you wanna come to my place instead of going home? You already know the answer. Alright, y'all. What was that? 